Hi friends! You read that right. For the first time since I started this series, I have more fails than wins. Dun dun dun! Okay. Um, it's true, it's not clickbait or anything. Uh, I, as I was, I just go through the week and I type things on my phone as I find, I find myself succeeding and failing and at the end of the week I was like, oh there like aren't any wins on here. So I have uh, four failures and two wins for this week so I guess obviously we'll start with the failures. Um, first off, I um, got dinged um, and I should have known better. I, uh, right before I, right after Black Friday I was still kind of in shopping mode. I did that video, I'll link it below, about how to stop a spending freefall. And I didn't really have a spending freefall, but I did buy one thing that I probably should have thought more about. And if it had not been in the hyper shopping season that I had gotten really into, I wouldn't have bought it at the time. So I ordered, I was looking for some new bedding. Well, Black Friday shopping, I looked everywhere, I didn't really find anything, and so I started looking online a little bit um, when I was home just in case I couldn't find anything, and I didn't, but I found a quilt online on Amazon that I thought looked kind of cool. There was only one small picture, you couldn't really zoom in on it, but it looked like it would be my style. The price was good, it was about 50 bucks, and you know, for a quilt and pillow sham set, um, and, I've, and I keep those for years. Uh, I I was okay with the price and so I went ahead and ordered it um, and it would have come out of Christmas money of course by the time I was done um, shopping pretty much I was I had less Christmas money than the quilt cost left over but I figured I'd just I'd work that into personal or something but I get it and it looks like a Tweenie Boppers bedroom set the pink which I thought was uh, kind of a little bit more gentle, a little more reddish, was hot pink, and I even laid it out on my bed and I was like, no, this is this is never going to work. I'm going to get so sick of looking at it. I got sick of looking at it while I had it out. So I packed it up and I go to do a return on Amazon and it turns out it wasn't through Amazon directly. It was through like an affiliate um, and I hadn't checked the return um, policy before I ordered, which is dumb and I know better. I would never have ever ordered it had there not been a free return policy. I Normally. I clicked buy without fully thinking it through. If I had been thinking it through, I would have double checked the return policy, made sure that this was not a gamble. If I didn't like it, I could send it, send it back and not be dinged anything. Yeah, there was not a free return thing. So I ended up spending the cost of shipping the weight of the quilt uh, almost $13 uh, back. Um, now I could have like resold it by myself online, but I have not had a great deal of success doing that because personally I didn't think the quilt set was worth 50 bucks once I got it in my hand and I'd feel bad for selling it for that much. Um, I just, and I also didn't want to go through that. So I told myself if shipping is less than $20, I will just go ahead and take the ding and I'll ship it. And it was $13. Um, and they also said on the website that they'll probably charge me a $5 restocking fee. So I will get back like 35 bucks. And that's, so I spent 13 to $17 on nothing. Just out the window. And that is what I least like spending money on, is when I get nothing in return. That really bugs me. So I've been beating myself up about that a little bit. Uh, I had a, a decent amount of money go out of my bank account with and got nothing in return for it. And it was because I was stupid. And I didn't check. And I clicked buy before really fully considering it. Um, so I'm dumb. There's that. Um, number two two bras of mine busted this week like the underwire poked through and I know you can fix those with like moleskin and I've done that in the past but they really only last just a little bit while a little bit longer um it's not really a fully sustainable thing to repair them in my experience and I've tried it a lot so I went ahead and got rid of those the good news is is that I did 
buy two new bras with my Christmas money, which I will be unwrapping at Christmas. So I'll have a replacement for those without any money out of my pocket. But it's it was just in the same week I had two underwires. I, I had two bras die out on me and it was like they knew. It was like they knew it was they could retire because <laughs> there are replacements coming, but it was just that's you know two bras go in the same week. That's that's no fun. Alright, um I went to the store, the grocery store, on just a little run because I was feeling snacky, and I, I convinced myself that it was to avoid eating out, um, so I ran into Walmart and I bought some chips and some sour cream to make ranch with, um, and I didn't check my Deals to Meals app, um, even though I knew I should have, because my thought was, what are the chances that chips and sour cream are going to be on sale? Um, there's, there's no point when I'm just doing a little baby grocery run. Uh, two days later, I go shopping for my actual groceries for this week. I log into Deals to Meals and guess what was on sale and had been on sale two days previous? Sour cream and chips. Um, I would have saved almost $2 if I had just checked that for, it would have taken 20 seconds. So, um, yeah, adding up this week. <laughs> All right. And finally, I got out four times. Uh, twice were breakfast, uh, only I had a really early morning thing I had to go cover, um, and I just didn't prepare for it, and so on the, on the way between two things, it's 7.30 in the morning, which I know probably isn't early for most people, but it's very early for me, um, because I work a lot of nights, um, and I also had to work that night, it was Friday, and I had a, I was working from 7.30 a.m. until like 9.30 p.m., uh, no, not 9.30, 8.30. I got home at 8.34, I think, because I watched uh, the new Fuller House with my friend Jamie. Um, it's not really living up, in my opinion. It's okay, but... Eh. So, um, yeah, I, I was out a lot. I did come home for lunch, and I ate the taco soup that I prepared, so that was good. I didn't eat out for lunch on Friday, but I ate out for breakfast on Friday. I just ran through McDonald's. And I uh, got a breakfast sandwich and some hash browns. Um, and then previous in the week, on press day, I went out and had breakfast from a, like a gas station, biscuits and gravy, which I normally do every week. If I just do that every week, I'm fine. But I also <laughs> had Taco Bell for dinner one night because I'd been doing a lot of stuff and I didn't feel like cooking. So I just ran to Taco Bell. That was a bad one. And um, I also ate out at a Chinese restaurant. Now, my excuse for this was that I needed chopsticks to make my Christmas crack for the Christmas, like the Christmas candy that I give out to everyone. And I need chopsticks to dip things in things. And um, I looked at Walmart and they sell chopsticks, but they're like $4. And so instead of spending $4 on chopsticks, I went and had lunch at a um, Chinese place and got some General Tso's chicken and lo mein. And it was delicious. And I'm not even mad at myself about that. And they gave me a bunch of extra chopsticks. So I have plenty there. Um, individually, any of these things would be fine. All together, I spent $25 on eating out this week when my budget for eating out is $40 for the month. So can't do that again next week <laughs> or any week this month. Um, I got to gotta slow that way down. So those were my fails. Um, let's see, my wins. I was able to get my Fitbit. I have the little clip-on Fitbit 1, the little end cap that covers a little pointy part I'm not wearing it right now or I'd show you, um, a little pointy metal part broke off and I looked online to see how much the replacement holders for the Fit Clip, or uh, for the Fitbit one were and they were like $14. And so I've been avoiding that. And then a friend of mine told me, you know, Fitbit customer service doesn't just replace the Fitbit if it breaks, they replace the Fitbit accessories. And so I emailed them and they are sending me a new Fitbit clip for free. So I saved like $14 there. Woohoo! Um, because it hadn't occurred to it occurred to me if my Fitbit broke to email customer service and get them to send me a new one because as you know, as long as I didn't flush it down the toilet or something. But and I've heard their customer service is good, but it hadn't occurred to me that they might replace the accessories too. But they did, not a problem. It was like three emails back and forth, and so I have a new one coming in. Yes. Alright, and uh my second win was that I did not buy any Christmas um present wrapping supplies this year. I had a couple of partial rolls left from last year that I just got from the Dollar Tree and I had a bag of tissue paper and a bag of ribbons and bows and stuff like that um, that my family, we just always save them as we're wrapping. We throw them 
in a, in a bag so we can reuse them the next year. And so I was able to wrap all of my Christmas presents and make them look beautiful um, and very fancy. And it was all with stuff that I didn't have to purchase this year. So, and that last year, I know I spent $2. I got two rolls of wrapping paper, the bows and everything like that <laughs> just get reused year after year after year. Um, and this year I didn't have to buy any at all. Next year I might have to buy a roll of wrapping paper or maybe two rolls, but it's for wrapping Christmas wrapping supplies, it's like a dollar a year that we spend. And this year I didn't have to spend anything. So that I consider that a win. Now my wins did not negate my fails for this week, which is no fun. Um, because I, you always want to do better as a total, uh, when you're, when you're counting for a week and I didn't, <laughs> I did get my Christmas decorations up. I got my presents wrapped. I did some stuff that was productive, um, especially work wise, but money wise, I failed this week. Um, so tell me how your week went. I sincerely hope that you did better than me. I really do. So tell me about your wins. Tell me about your fails. Holidays are hard, man. It's, it's real easy to like get sucked into it and just like spin, spin, spin. Um, and it's cold and I just, I don't want to do stuff. <laughs> Rory wants to say hi. Roro. Rory. What you doing? Want to say hi to our friends? She says, Mother, I'm cold. I'm very, very cold. Nobody loves me. You guys love her, though. She just doesn't know it. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Shickle girl? Shickle girl? Well, what you thinking about? What's your puppy thinking about? What are you thinking about? Did you look in the outside? Sweet. sweet girl. Yeah, you a sweet girl?